only person with the truth. Place the blame for my murder where it belongs. Is the victim herself. As long as you're still alive, we can do something about him. An unsung hero. I'm eclectic. I see things. It's never the whole thing, it's just quick flashes. Must be murdered. No Sin Unpunished from director Matt Green is a pretty good young adult plus friendly horror chiller with a fun infusion of Ghostbusters and Peter Jackson's The Frighteners in its makeup. Taryn and Megan are two young women, friends forever, as residents growing up in a small town miles from the fast line lifestyle of a big city, both caught up in the mundane routines of Nowheresville. But behind the smiles and simple lifestyle of some, all that seems well is not quite as it seems. And the deceptive smiles of some, behind, lies a dark and disturbing secret that goes straight to the door of the town sheriff, John Stone. A man who took Taryn in when she lost her parents. But behind closed doors, Taryn has suffered, and now she is of an age and mind to expose him for what he truly is. But Sheriff Stone cannot allow that. Taryn works as a waitress in the local town cafe and gets to know a passing through town customer named Hero, a young guy who is on an archaeological search for a lost site he believes to be in the area. He is an epileptic and his triggered fits bring about visions of the near future. And when Taryn accidentally spills coffee over him, upon touching her arm, he has a fit and visualises her in a scene of blood-filled violence. When later walking her home at night, the two are attacked by a knife-wielding maniac and Taryn is stabbed to death. With Hero knocked unconscious and left at the scene of the crime, positioned with the bloodied knife in his hand. When Hero comes to with the sound of police sirens approaching, he realises the terrible extent of his predicament and in fear runs off. Hunted down by the sheriff's men and dogs through the woods, Hero is suddenly assisted from beyond the grave by a supernatural force in the form of Taryn. She has returned to help Hero and seek his help in turn herself to bring her killer to justice. But she only has a couple of days to save her soul. As once her body has committed to the earth, she will be trapped in limbo between purgatory and everlasting resting peace. For her and those that have suffered at his hands, the sheriff must pay and so, with the help of Hero and a friend Megan, Taryn seeks to leave no sin unpunished. Flip your sensory viewing switch to ethereal movie viewing mode for the rest of the film, as it becomes a fast track to the supernatural on an astral configuration, reality breaking bus ride from the beyond. At times, it plays like an oddball mash of late 70s, early 80s, bizarrely cool quirkiness, with several out there characters popping up, such as the sheriff's housebound blind mother, played quite brilliantly by the convincingly calm yet deranged counterpart to Norman Bates in full on mother mode. Her speaking manner and precise slow delivery is memorably freaky. Throw in the ghost bus that pops up to help out Hero and Taryn ride out of danger on more than one occasion, looking pretty darn slick. Special effects wise and a few surprise moments along the way and No Sin Unpunished delivers an enjoyable 5 out of 10 viewing experience, better than most low budget undertakings out there. The highlight of the piece just has to be the opening sequence though as the movie opens right out into another movie altogether and you wonder if you're watching a pirate video mistakenly released a disc under the name of the movie you have actually purchased. Taryn and Megan are at the drive-in watching a grindhouse grueler to die for. 
an axe-wielding psycho in a mask is cutting his way through the teenage cast. Blood, handsaw and groovy, gory goodness galore. With a jump-out-of-your-seat moment playing out with glee. It's called Daddy's Girl, and boy, do you ever want them to now bring this on, baby. No Sin Unpunished is well worth a look, as it brings a supernatural brevity of old, and a gruelling grunge style, the likes of the town that dreaded sundown, and he knows you're alone to the table. All aboard the ghost bus. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Did you find what you were looking for?